All right, I'm going to show you how to get a PDF file into the right format so that you can get it into this Power BI that my son says I have to learn. And he's, I think he's right. And I'm going to embarrass myself. I'm going to embarrass the heck out of myself by showing you just how idiotic I am in trying to get these things formatted and and right. And I really uh, eventually want to show you, uh, slowly I'm, I'm, I'm being convinced that this Power BI really can help in at least displaying graphs. I'm not sure much else. We'll talk about reading financial data and stock price data and all this stuff in the Power BI in a separate video, okay? So in Power BI, you know, you can do this, and then if I want to on this one, I suppose show the uh, hmm, the electrical efficiency instead. I can drag the fields here and I've got to make sure that I use the average and it shows the efficiency and on this one if I want to switch it. Let me put it up here and switch it. And it's kind of cool the way it shows you and you know you can then do it with just open cycle or combined cycle and you know that's I have to say that it's okay and it does some things that even with match index indirect you could do in Excel you couldn't make the, the maps of course all right so let's get started all right I, I, I'll do some more uh, later so I'm just gonna read in one simple little file now I'm going through this IEA report that I'll put, I think because it's free, I can, I don't know if I'll have a, I'll get put in jail for putting this on the website. So here's what I tried to do. I said, let's take all these combined cycle plants, including uh, China, okay? And there's, the report is, is kind of good. And then, so what I'm doing here is I'm uh, just, reading them into Excel. Now you notice here, this is an enormous problem. They have these little spaces in them. These spaces drive me completely crazy. And sometimes you've got to be really careful because uh, it's possible here, but it's not that you don't want a space. And so to protect against that, here's what I did. You go, of course, to the website, and you go just to the home page, and we're just going to make sure we have two files open, which is the read PDF and the generic macros. Now, I've updated these. I, I'm updating these hourly, practically, because I don't have a class. I'm kind of stranded, sitting here with not enough to do, maybe. I press Shift-Control-A. And then on Shift-Control-A, you go down to this one fixed European format, and now notice that it says fixed title shift control P parse spaces. This is a big macro to make, okay? Maybe I'm being too old fashioned here. And then we can say, well, I don't want to fix any spaces until we get to kind of column number three. And I think uh, 3000 is okay here. And I think they have some dashes, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to not remove the dashes. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, there, there weren't any dashes here. So what it did is it took all of these, and I think it was successful. You can look at the coding for this. It was really not easy to get this all right. Now, once you have it there, then you press Shift-Control-A once more. And this time you just click reformat. So you have to, if it's in this format where you have those blank zeros, then you have to do it in two goes. Now those discount rates of 3, 7, 10, I hope you understand those now because of all my carrying charge discussions. The only problem is the stupid Netherlands thing. I, that's Netherlands is where I live practically. So don't, don't, uh, 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 I think I'm being negative to the Netherlands, if you press Shift-Control-A, do you see it has these little adjustments and conversions? And I sh I thought I was had changed that, so I don't... You pick which lines you want to 
underline if it's got the word net in there for Netherlands. So let's unclick it. And then let's reformat it again. So those are some of the issues. Now this video is taking longer than I expected already because I wasted time on that one. Now, once you do that, then let's press shift Control t to get the titles right. Now the first one, it kind of puts some number. I should almost take that out. And then we want three. I remember there were three things on the title. And then we put first, the first column was country. Then the next column was technology. And this just put number of blanks before. It should, I'm going to redo this so it says number of blanks before. And we have net capacity and electrical conversion. And for some reason, they put a space here. This is what it's doing with the PDF. And then you have your net investment cost twice. And then you just press continue and apply title. This, I'm going to have to change to say return to the spreadsheet. Sorry about that. And then once you get it right, you say, ah, okay. So now the, the problem is in this one, I'm going to show you. If I tried to read this into Power BI, it would be a complete mess. Now, I'm going to put the country here. And I'm going to have to do it manually, which I hate. Okay, so I'm going to copy this and just put France. Oh, France. Oh, what a good place. Now I'm going to pause and just keep doing that. I'm not going to have you watch me do it. Okay, <coughs> so I did this. Now, it is essential that you have it set up kind of as a database to get it into Power BI. You have to have, in this case, the country on one column, each, and I guess each column is called a field, you know, in a database. And then you have to have the, here we're putting the kind of technology, and then the, this is the capacity. So we have to move our titles around first. Okay, so let's move these back to the right place. I hope that's not too asking too much of you. Okay, and we have these three different discount rates for the levelized cost analysis. And then, uh, I purposely didn't put the United Kingdom in. So you, 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 all I did was move it over here. Now, if, if this was, you can say, oh, your, 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 your uh, um, read PDF should have done that. Well, I don't see how it could have, but whatever, uh, maybe. All right, now, so you have to have ev the countries because that's going to show up on that map thing. All right, and then let's delete these. Now, I'm going to use from, I can have generic macros and read PDF open at the same time. This generic macros, shift, no, 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 control alternate C when I do this. I put a little thing called titles at the top, and I also said delete blank rows. If I... All right, after pressing the delete blank rows, now you can put... If you want to kind of correspond and have, say, there's something on column in column A, but you want to delete if the whole rest of the column A is blank, then you could put one, but mainly you'll just type zero here. And then it deletes the blank... Uh, rows for you. And now the next thing, Power BI needs to have it, these titles that kind of wouldn't work well. Maybe you could figure it out and do all sorts of fancy things. I think it's a lot easier to do this in Excel. I, I don't know. I'll, maybe I'll change. But Shift, Control, Control, Alt, C. I'm going to put this right up in the menu options. And then it says Combine Rows at the top. Now there are four rows. One, two, uh, uh, I hope. Okay, and it took those four rows and just put them all into one single row. Now, once you have that, once you have it set up like this, then download Power BI. Just go to Google and download it. It's all free. Everybody who has kind of, I'm sure it will cost eventually, but, uh, uh, you know, they're trying to t take the whole market. Microsoft, obviously. 
So I, I just made a new uh, new thing, and it's taking a long time now for some reason. Okay, it's initializing the model. And then what we're going to do is read in this spreadsheet we made. So I better save this sheet. All right, so F12 to, F12 to save it, and I'm going to call it uh, uh, the IEA database. And I'm, that's going to be on the disk, and I'm updating the Google Drive. I don't know if I said that already. I think I did. Losing it. Okay, so, so once you have that, oops, I seem to have read it in twice, you get data. And the data you get is, I guess, you just go to Excel. Notice it doesn't have PDF. I don't know how it would get PDF. And then uh, I have to go find this. This is in my courses, and it's in uh, electricity, and it's in uh, electricity materials, and in, I've got a new little folder on levelized cost, okay? So you read it in. Now, once you read it in, it gives you all these sheets, okay? And um, in our, uh, I didn't, I did something really bad. This was sheet eight, number six. You could try other ones. I've tried them, and it's a pain. It doesn't work. So if you're first time in Power BI, just try it with something simple. Well, whatever. Do whatever you want. But that's what I suggest. Okay? And then we're going to load this data. And then it's loading now. Hmm. Okay. And it's detecting relationships. Okay? And we'll work on that later. And the nice thing is then it's got all of these titles that we just had, I hope. And then let's do some the, kind of the easiest one first. If you just click on that one and then put the country and the uh, overnight cost, it'll just give you the country and the overnight cost. Okay, but you might then, then you have this stuff over here. And this is what's confusing me. So if you click on this, it allows you to do all the access. If you click on this, I don't know what it's called, but... I don't want, I want the average in case their countries have two, okay? So you can just adjust this kind of like you do in uh, pivot tables, I guess, okay? So that took me about an hour to figure out, sorry. And then let's put the filter in, and if I want the filter by technology, I just click on that, I think. And I suppose I could have also dragged it here or something, but I'm not going to mess around too much because it's a video. So if I want the average of the combined cycles or the average of the open cycles, I can show them. Okay, and now if I go here and I want to, this is what I was struggling with so bad, badly. If I want to uh, uh, adjust things like I want to put the data labels on. You have to be in this thing right here, this whatever. It looks like a paint roller or something like that. Okay. And then, whoops. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. I, okay, I think I... Uh, oops. Okay, that was a rude interruption for my fault. Okay, now... Uh, uh, and then we can kind of reformat the titles and all that. This took me, again, uh, so long, okay? So I want a, a black font color or something, and then I want to make it a little larger, and you can do all that stuff, okay? So you just mess around, obviously, with it, okay? I don't know how to make it. This is one of the bad things. I don't, I don't know if you can make a flexible title. I'm sure you can make your own title and all that stuff. Excuse me. All right. Must be able to. And then here's what I was struggling with so badly. I should admit this. I want the main, one of the main things I wanted to put this by the world map. And on this world map, I wanted to put the country and then the overnight cost and be able to show the efficiency or the country and all that. And then it kept giving me these, these, these little things. And then I said, ah, oh, no, that's not what I didn't want. And I didn't realize that this is another map. And this map is different. So you just put the country there, and then the overnight cost there, 
and when you extend it and all that, I get problems. I get like two North Americas and all this stuff, so whatever. And uh, you can kind of do a little bit with this, but not nearly as much, okay? And if, so if I want to, uh, huh, if I wanted to show the efficiency instead of the thing, I could show it like this. And just like before, you know, you should probably put the average, okay? And then you can uh, go and make the bubbles a different size or color or something like that. Well, at least, uh, whatever. Okay, enough. Sorry, sorry, but this was go driving me nuts. So that's the, the basic, you know. And now what we're going to do in the next uh, videos, the rest of it, you look online and all this stuff. Okay, fine. Uh, uh, the next thing is to... Um, go and take some of the other technologies and let's be let's make sure we can compare coal with nuclear with uh, uh, solar with wind and we're going to put all those technologies together but that's going to be in the next video goodbye